I was thinking about London. We should travel more. You hated London. Food poisoning, the gross hotel room, the... But that's not how I remember it. I remember being there with you. I'd do it again. You're such a sap, Nick. I love you. Night. Hey guys, this is Swordfish. Today I am playing the demo of Apartment, which is a Kickstarter game that I am super excited about. Um, in the sense of sort of like Gone Home-ish, it's sort of like a, it's a walk around and explore the environment and kind of learn the story through the environment sort of game. Their description of Apartment is an intimate look at Nick's state of mind as he picks through the wreckage of his relationship with Madison. Not, it's a little bit of a bummer, but it's a really cool exploration of storytelling in games as a storytelling medium, which is the thing that I super dig, so I'm going to shut up and click and hold to start. Apartment. A separated place. Apart like not together. Apartment being the place you live. This is super pretty already. I love low poly art, as I know I've mentioned before. And this is like super interesting low poly art. All right, it's saying click and hold the mouse. So these blue like clouds are thoughts. I should put it down on paper, get everything out of my head. What happened to us? And as you, um, when you're thinking, you see um, other things you can interact with. So here's just my books. So I should add that Nick is a cartoonist, so he should get it down. He should he should get it down on paper and get out of his head. What are his other cartoons? Him sitting by himself. Is that this room? Sort of a fanciful version of this room. Here's girl, guy cartooning, guy at a table, there's a girl. Alright. Three empty art things? That's empty art frames. Art things? This is a computer. Alright, let me look at this over here. Statistics for management and economics. A systematic approach. My textbooks from grad school. These are from the class I was taking the semester I met Madison. Interesting. It's a little cartoon about th them. Maybe the day they met. That's awesome. They got added to the thing. Alright, so he's getting it down on paper. We're kind of helping him get it down on paper. It's a blue cloud. She's at work right now. Maybe she'll come back after her day ends. More empty frames. Oh, that's the what happened to us in the other room. I swiped this from the bar on a dare. It became Madison's favorite glass. She said it reminded her of the night we met. I guess that's the bar the night they met. Those are the glasses, maybe. The, what is the bar? The library? That's a, if there were a bar near me called the library, I would go there all the time. She's not coming back. So this is kind of, these like, four years and she just ends it all. They're just kind of like psyche bubbles. And this is the last interactive thing here. One of the first things Madison told me was how much she loved to paint. She hasn't touched a canvas in months since work picked up. Nice. That sound is coming from this way, right? Yeah, the light. 
the light is shining on this. All right, what? Now let's look at it. I met her four years ago at Ben's birthday party. Aren't you Madison, Ben's infamous friend? Infamous? Yeah, he told me about your DJing debut. <laughs> if we could call it DJing. I don't see Ben often these days, because his partying days are over. Not so sure about that. Even business school can't keep that guy down. He's trying to make the moves on our econ professor. Let me guess, blonde, curvy? And old enough to be his mother. Oh god, he is maturing. So aside from hijacking DJ booths, what do you do? Professionally? Advertising. But I'm trained as a painter. You're the artsy type? I guess. Artsy isn't quite a word. Artsy implies pop art, do it yourself crafts, comics, and stuff. I'm a fine artist. She realized her voice had dropped, and then she'd been biting into the words. She retreated back into party chatter. What do you do outside of grad school? I like to draw comics and stuff. How about I show you a few over dinner? That is bold. Well done. Oh, so yeah, it turned that into a comic. Here's the... How about I show you a few over dinner? That's super cool. And now I'm in a new place. I think I'm outside. Oh, there's stuff everywhere. Yeah, that's, that's where I was. Sometimes I wonder what's inside these other apartments. What kinds of stories? Oh, I'm in like a courtyard. I love this effect of the like narration being written on the ground. Super awesome. Nick, Connor, and Madison. Oh. That's really sweet and sad. Really sweet and sad. What's over here? So these are the other apartments. The Wrights. Not sure what he does, but I think she's a novelist. Madison got her to autograph a bunch of books. Tyler and Rose Wright. Alright. Oh. I, there was something on the ground below me. I've always loved telling stories about other people. It's easier. Oh, th this fountain is full of discarded cartoons, which is pretty awesome. That's really cool. Alright. Jim moved in around the same time I did. We hung out a couple of times. Not sure what he's up to these days. Oh, but... I'm gonna go... Okay. Jim Spencer. The dripping sound echoed inside of him. Drip. Drip. Where am I? What? Drip. Is this... Not the... This isn't the apartment I was just in. Is this Jim's apartment? Drip. Drip. Been a bit anxious about moving so far away from home. Road tripping across the country with his older sister had been both fun and exasperating. That's so cool, the text reflects in the bathtub. Still, he was touched she'd taken the time to make the trip with him. I feel like I'm disappearing. Jim just stared at his hands, the knuckles white. He desperately clung to the coffee cup, and tea and it gone cold over the hours he'd spent sitting on his living room floor. He half expected to see his fingers fading away like a ghost. A wraith. His body shuddered, trembled, and shank, shrank as he closed his eyes, retreating from the sight of his empty apartment. Somewhere in the space, his sink dripped, a sound that plagued him beyond irritation. It seemed instead to feed the empty feeling. He bowed his head until it rested on the smooth mouth of the mug, the rest of his body curling up. He was dimly aware of the city beyond his apartment, the people that filled it. Not his city, not his people. He curled further into himself.
Wow. Wow. That was incredible. Now it looks like autumn, maybe? How do I feel? Our old vacation photos are still on there. We always meant to go through them together, but we never made the time. Okay. There's stuff to look at around. Oh, here's photos of them. I missed that the first time. Or something. Photos or illustrations or something. The door's open. The door these doors are open too now. So there's some new stuff to see. Hello, couch feeling. The pillows still smell like her. Oh no. I remember waiting and watching the candle burn down. It was the first time she ever flat out forgotten about a date. Forgotten about me. Oh, Nick. Sorry, dude. She didn't like Thai food at first. Now our fridge, my fridge, is filled with leftovers from the smiling banana leaf. <laughs> Smiling Banana Leaf Thai Restaurant. SmilingBananaLeaf.com I hope that's a website for this game. If it's not, that's a huge, hugely missed opportunity. Alright. <sighs> More blank art, man. What a bummer. It's kind of sad, like, you can't remember what the art looks like. I'm sure it's more of a development constraint. Hot chocolate and jigsaw puzzles. I always noticed when she chewed her lip, wrestling to get together patches of sky. Is that the thought bubble from the other room? I think it is. Or, yeah, that's the one from the computer. Oh, there's a note. Or a phone. She used to send me texts whenever she was working late. Little notes throughout the night. She didn't last a few months. Even though she almost always worked late. Maybe I should have known. This is the bedroom. This is bobby pins. Sunset? Sunrise? Sunrise. Looks like sunrise. Got ourselves a nice little patio out here. Oh, the, where's the last thing to look at? Oh, the banana leaf. Hello, menu. Smiling banana leaf. It's one of our favorite restaurants. I can't count how many times we went there together. Smiling banana leaf. And my comic is done. It's out the door. Oh my god, they made a functioning peephole. All about the details. Interesting, it was one of their favorite restaurants. One time she forgot him. We were meeting at our favorite restaurant, the Cozy Thai Place, right around the corner. We brought Madison there on one of our early dates, and despite her misgiving, initial misgivings, it became one of our favorite date spots. We had a routine. I ordered the pad thai, she the yellow curry, shared the entrees, and sp split a bowl of mango sticky rice for dessert. I'd been waiting over half an hour. Where was Madison? She was the perpetually early type, and I always sent a text if she was running late. I checked my phone again. Still no response to my text. Nick. If you aren't here soon, I'm going to eat everything without you. ETA? Calls went straight to voicemail. Car accident? My stomach rumbled. Sheepishly, I deflected the waiter who came by to refill our two glasses of water. 
Waited another half hour before leaving. She texted me later, a short, I'm really sorry, we just had a client emergency. Be home in an hour. I didn't respond. Wow. That was... That was cool. That was cool. That was heavy and well-directed and really interesting. As I know I've said before, I'm a huge fan of using games as like an interactive storytelling medium. Whoops, the game auto-closed when it was done. I'm a huge fan of games as an interactive storytelling medium. So this is like, I'm really into this as a concept, as a like, it's interesting. So I said at the beginning, sort of like Gone Home. Gone Home has less, I think, like exploration of the world, interactive interaction with the world as this does. I think that Gone Home let you like make your own story or let you discover the story like a little a little more I want to see what was outside because I got teleported before I could do it um Gone Home sort of let you piece the story together for yourself and it was kind of about non-linear storytelling. This is more like... It's more guided, I think. Like, with the look at the bright things and then... Etc. My phone is ringing. Look at the guided things and... Um, so on and so on. So... I think that that is cool. Like, the way that... The story of Jim, the the neighbor, like, revealed itself as you walked around the space and it was, like, painted on the ground and stuff. That was super awesome. I really, really like that a lot. I just want to see what else was over here because I missed these. John Liu. I think he's divorced. Seems he spends a lot of time traveling for work. This door. John Liu. May and William. They're a really adorable old couple. I sometimes see them feeding the fish when the grandchildren are visiting. Okay, so those are the extra people. And then jo Jim, and then there was Jim's story. I love these ghostly leaves and the, like, negative of the, the, the everything and the outlines and Jim's apartment. It's really cool. So I really, really, really like this a lot. Um, this is, like, right up my alley, this kind of, like, really really sincere, like, storytelling narrative etc. thing. Uh, and I hope it's up yours too, because I play a lot of games like this, and I'm going to continue to play a lot of games like this. So, if you enjoyed, uh, please consider going over to their Kickstarter, giving them some backing. If if you can't still spread the word to other people you think you might like the game, etc. Help cool things get made, and thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.